Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. The death of Yusuf Mackey. I can't call it a murder because Joshua Molnar was cleared of murder and also manslaughter as well, but he did stab him in the heart with a flick knife. The Manchester Grammar School pupil Yusuf was attacked in Hale Barnes in Greater Manchester on the 2nd of March 2018. A 17-year-old was only referred to at the time as Boy A, that was Joshua, and he was accused of killing Yusuf in a row over an attempt to rob a drug dealer. The boy denied the murder, and this is reading from BBC News at the time of the trial. He claimed that he acted in self-defence and was also found not guilty of manslaughter. The jury reached its decision after four weeks at Manchester Crown Court. Following the verdict, Yusuf's dad, Galib Mackey, exploded in rage and anger at the judge and uh, the judge made them clear the courtroom. He said, where is the justice for my son? Where is the justice? And he does make a very good point because his son was killed and I'll explain how and you can make up your mind if you think that's murder or manslaughter or nothing at all. Yusuf went to a £12,000 a year school. He won a scholarship because he was a very clever kid and he'd done really well at school. He was stabbed in a village that was popular with footballers and also celebrities as well. So this wasn't an estate state in the middle of London or Birmingham or even Salford. A second teenager who was only referred to as Boy B was found not guilty of any involvement. Both boys were also cleared of conspiracy to rob a drug dealer in the lead up to the death of Yusuf. The teenagers previously admitted possessing a knife and Joshua pleaded guilty to perverting the course of justice and lying to police. Both defendants are due to be sentenced on the 25th of July and seven months later Joshua has been released. The jury heard the stabbing was an accident waiting to happen as all three boys indulged in idiotic fantasies playing middle class gangsters. Despite their privileged backgrounds, both defendants led double lives. They referred to each other as bro fam and called the police feds. The defendants and Yusuf smoked cannabis and listened to drill and rap music. The trial also heard they would post videos on social media making threats and posing with shanks and knives. Hours before the fatal stabbing, Boy B arranged to buy a £45 amount of cannabis and they planned to rob the drug dealer who they believe was a soft touch. The robbery went wrong and Yusuf and Boy B fled leaving Boy A who was Joshua to take a beating. He later went to see Yusuf and pushed him and Yusuf is allegedly meant to have punched him in the face. And this is where the motive comes from because these guys did something together. It went wrong and Joshua was very angry at Yusuf. But he told the jury that Yusuf pulled a knife out first and then he pulled a knife out and then accidentally stabbed Yusuf. So it is only them three boys knew exactly what happened that day. And due to the jury and his defence and his family's money, he was able to persuade the jury to believe it and also to find him not guilty of any involvement. There's no case that I've covered from London or Birmingham with any similarities to this that would not have found him guilty of at least manslaughter. Joshua Molnar is now 18 and he's been released from prison. Yusuf's family have described it as a crushing news. His release comes six days before the anniversary of the actual incident in, in Greater Manchester. A trial found that he acted in self-defence, so he was only actually found guilty of possession of a knife and perverting the course of justice because he lied to the police during the investigation. He falsely suggested that Yusuf had been stabbed by someone who drove off in a grey VW polo, uh, information that was circulated by the police at the time, so he actively tried to hinder the investigation in a court of law usually that would suggest murder because they didn't just say it was an accident this is what happened they actually tried to cover up the murder they hid the weapons he was sentenced to eight months and given a training order and admitted perverting the course of justice and the possession of a knife Yusuf's family said to receive the news six days before the anniversary is devastating and there is no other words for it the Ministry of Defence said the distress they understand and they do try to cater for the release of 
prisoners around the family of the victims. But in this case, clearly, nobody really cared. A massive part of the defence of Joshua was actually the fact that he listened to drill music and they said that this corrupted his mind and made him want to do these sort of things. They gave him no responsibility for what he did. There's not one person who has seen my coverage of this story and, and has believed that Joshua was not guilty. So please pay your respects to Yusuf Mackey and I really want to hear what people have to say on this story and whether you think it is fair, if there needs to be a change or if it's some sort of different sort of privilege that maybe he's getting. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Peace.